Jay, a quite frustrating game, I think you would think, after a good dominant first half. How did you see the first half? Yeah, I should have put the game to bed, to be honest. I think like, uh, if we'd been as clinical as we have in recent weeks, we'd go and win the game. I just spoke to the gaffer come up to me at the end and just said you should have been outside at half-time. And that is the truth. We've had some great chances. Um, not, not taking them. Even second half, we had a couple of good chances. But you, you have to take chances at this level. We've, we've shown that in recent games. But it doesn't happen every week. Sometimes in front of goal, it doesn't happen. And uh, we've not had too many games where we've not scored in. It's, uh, it's frustrating. But it's... Um, it's another point, it's another game unbeaten and we just move on. I'd say you had a lot more of the ball in the first half and in the whole game as to what you did against Dover hit you in that game 4-0. Would you say a brain tree defended well and it's difficult to break down? Yeah, I think, I think look, they're, they're different styles. Dover wanted to get on the ball a bit more. We wanted to allow them to do that, to give us space in behind them. Braintree obviously a little bit more direct and, and play, play sort of into the front man a lot quicker. Um, and it was important we got on the ball today, and I thought first half we did it a lot better than, than we did second half. We didn't get on the ball enough second half. Too many of us got sucked into it a little bit of doing the same as, as they were. So, yeah, look, it's a simple. It's one of those that if if, a, if if one of our chances goes in, I think we win the game and we win it comfortably. But all the time it's a nil nil. It gives them a little bit of confidence and they grow into the game a bit. But look, they're up there. They're a, they're a team that've been in about the playoffs all season. So. It's not a bad point, it's just realistic. If you're looking back over the game, then if we take take one or two of the chances, you win comfortably, but we haven't done that, and um, that's a simple fact. So I'll take the positives, clean sheet again, uh, four unbeaten, and um, yeah, we're still, we're still okay in the league. Couple off the woodwork as well, luck is a factor, would you say? Luck's always a factor. I mean, Joe Turner, I think he knows he should score, but it yeah. can't be too hard. Look, him and Jordan have been banging in goals, and we, we've looked a threat going forward, and we did first half, but it... It's frustrating because you, you look at the game and you go, another day you could win that by three or four, but it doesn't happen every week. And, you, and like I say, we, the, the, the big thing for us was that we, we didn't going to lose the game. I think a, a few weeks back, we probably would have then, if you're looking at Welling game, for instance, where we, we probably dominated in two games and we, we went on to lose them. So um, you look at say, you go, OK, we haven't lost the game. It's, it's a point. I'm sure if people have looked at, I have to go back to the game, Slough, St Albans, Hampton, and Dover and these to sort of come away out of that undefeated is, is not a bad return. Sure. And uh, Tariq pushed up a little bit in the second half. Are you looking to utilise him higher up the pitch? Uh, we, we had to change shape. They, they changed theirs at that point and went to sort of back four and, and put three up front. And it, We were struggling to get out a bit, so we just felt if we could push, we, we rolled around and pushed him up. Um, with the bodies we have on the pitch, it allows us to do that. So we've, we've looked at it and... To be honest, he, he had a great bit of play and got him down the line and crossed it and Jordan couldn't quite finish. But, um, yeah, there's, there's always that option. Tariq offers us both options and, and obviously Jamie can play centre-half or right-back, so it's quite easy for us to, to switch in and out of it. I'm looking forward to Tuesday night. What do you expect of that? Oh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think um, Dover bring a, Dover, Gillian and Dover bring a strong side. Uh, obviously, with the amount of signs they've made, I should imagine a few of the boys aren't getting minutes. So... I'm sure they'll bring a strong side and it's one we can look forward to. We'll, we'll, we'll put a strong side out. You, you look at the squad, we haven't got a massive squad. Um, so we'll put a strong side out and we'll, we'll, we'll have a real uh, good go at it. Um, good test, good test for the younger boys and the experienced ones who enjoy playing with it. So um, it's certainly a competition if we can get through, we'd like to try and win. And here again next Saturday for another league game. Yeah, Worthing, really tough game, good side. Um, I don't know how they finished, I know they're beating Darth and 2 I think, at half time. Really good side, so um, we had a close game with them down there. Um, so it's another one we can look forward to. Thanks, Jay. Look forward to it too. Pleasure. Cheers.